Hello and welcome guys, we're back with another video. Today we are making a ghee chingri. The main ingredients for this recipe are as follows. Firstly, we have some tiger prawns here as you can see. Besides that, we'll be requiring onion paste, tomato paste, some whole and ground spices, ginger garlic paste, some homemade garam masala, sugar, and of course, as the name suggests, some ghee. So these are the main ingredients. The exact quantities are in the description box. Please do have a look. Let's get started. The first stage guys here would be to shallow fry the prawns for which we'll just add some turmeric and salt to the prawns and just uh, mix it well. And all set, now let's go on to shallow frying the prawns. We've taken oil here in a pan and we'll just uh, heat it up. Once the oil is heated, we're going to shallow fry our prawns. So let's just wait for the oil to heat up a bit. Once the oil is um, heated up, just introduce the prawns. We'll just shallow fry them as I said. It's going to be around 30 seconds on either side, not more than that. The prawns are now done after 30 seconds on each side. We'll just now transfer them into a separate bowl. In the same pan, we've just added one tablespoon of additional oil and once the oil is um, heated up, we're just going to add in the whole spices. So after about 30 seconds, uh, the whole spices are now crackling, we'll add in the onion paste. Braise the uh, onion and the whole spices uh, for around 2 minutes. After a couple of minutes, uh, add in the ginger garlic paste. And continue braising everything together until the raw smell of the uh, ginger garlic disappears. The raw smell of uh, ginger garlic has now uh, disappeared so now we're going to add in the uh, ground spices which is the Kashmiri mirch, the red chili powder and the turmeric. And once again continue braising. You might want to add just a little bit of water at this stage uh, such that the spices don't burn. Uh, a minute or two has now passed and we're going to add in the tomato paste now. Mix everything. Also add in uh, salt and sugar at this stage. Keep mixing and cooking everything for another two to three minutes on a medium flame. Once the tomatoes are completely cooked, we're going to add in the prawns. And after a couple of minutes, we're going to add in around one cup of hot water. Uh, cover and cook for uh, 10 minutes on a medium flame. 10 minutes have now passed and uh, as you can see, the gravy is on the thicker side. We would now add uh, the ghee and garam masala. And once again, uh, mix it so that everything uh, gets uh, mixed nicely. And once this is done, we are going to cook for another three minutes following which the dish is going to be ready to serve. After three minutes, the dish is completely ready and we'll now proceed on to the serving stage. All set guys, as you can see the dish is served, it looks and smells amazing, enjoy!